So six people fell through the ice on New Hampshire's lakes over the weekend, and now Fish and Game officials there are warning that the ice is not as safe as it looks. At least it doesn't always have to be that way. Ryan Breton here with more on the incidents and what Maine officials are saying you should be looking out for. Hey, Ryan. Yeah, good morning, Lee. Fortunately, all six of these people were able to get out of the water safely on their own after falling through. But it is a dangerous reminder that even though lakes and ponds are frozen over, that ice thickness can vary greatly. This all happening Saturday, starting on Lake Winnipesaukee near Tuftonboro, when shortly after one o'clock, a snowmobile carrying two people unexpectedly went through the ice. Hours later, two ATVs crashed through on Big Squam Lake in Center Harbor. And shortly after that, another snowmobile carrying two people fell through on Meredith Bay on Winnipesaukee. There are general guidelines for safe ice thickness. If it's two inches or less, it's unsafe for anybody. It has to be around six inches thick for a snowmobile or ATV. But it's crucial to remember ice doesn't freeze uniformly, so its thickness can vary and it's necessary to check multiple spots for that thickness. Ice near streams, bridges, and culverts can be particularly dangerous. Now this time of the year, the outdoors have a lot to offer. If you have any interest in venturing out onto the ice, it's a good idea to check the ice fishing report from the Maine Department of Inland Fisheries and Wildlife. On this page, you'll find tips, information, and updates from seven regions all across the state, including safe places to go and what you may find. You can go over to our website and mobile app to find a link to this page. Live this morning, I'm meteorologist Ryan Breton, News Center, Maine.